What's up internet? Itong buwan na to, July, ay ang second year anniversary ng Hardware Sugar. And naging practice na rin namin na parang every year gumagawa kami ng isang report card. Kasi gusto namin na ma-check sarili namin kung natupad ba namin lahat ng layunin namin, lahat ng goals namin. You know, we think we give good customer service, pero totoo ba yun? Naka, nasa feedback ba yun? Yan yung point ng report card to keep us na yung talagang okay pa ba si Hardware Sugar? Pero bago nun, ano ba talaga tong Hardware Sugar na to? Kailangan pa ba nung isa pang bagong PC shop sa Metro Manila, eh, isang katutak na ng PC shop? And well, sa tingin ko, tsaka sa tingin ng utol ko, yung co-founder ko, yes! Heck yes! Marami ang PC shops, pero marami ring mga hindi masaya na practices or mga hindi kanais-nais na experiences tungkol sa mga yon. And when we were, you know, when we were just consumers, we were also just buying PC parts. Parang hindi kami na tuwa sa experience. Maraming ang shops pero karaniwan sa kanila sobrang sikip nung physical layout ng shop. Nakatambak lahat ng mga gamit, nakatambak lahat ng mga boxes. And I know right now parang ganun din sa amin pero ngayon lang to, kami dumating lang na shipment, di pa namin naayos 'yan. But usually yung shop namin sobrang dali lang pumasok, dali lang umikot. Hindi siya sobrang sikip na kailangan pa mag-box out ng mga tao para lang may pwesto ka. Tapos pangalawa, yung mga items. Sa ibang shops, usually nakatago yan. Either parang, ewan ko, tingin sa customer, baka magnanakaw ka agad. So taga, lahat yun talagang nakatago. Either underneath glass or dun sa supply room. Bihirang-bihira lang na may mga items na talagang pwede mong hawakan, pwede mong tingnan, pwede mong silipin yung box na, ah, ito yung pala yung specs nito. But, again, we try to do it differently here at Hardware Sugar. You'll notice may test rig kami na may naka-install na RGB para kita ka agad ni customer. Lahat ng mga items namin, walang nakatago yan. You can come in, you can pick them up, you can examine them, you can look around, nothing is hidden behind glass. Kasi yung trato namin sa'yo, hindi magnanakaw. <laughs> Trato namin sa'yo, customer who wants good quality products and gusto rin namin iparating na yung hardware namin, yung tech namin, cool to. Tira mo tong cooler, tira mo tong RAM, tira mo tong RGB fans. Parang mas nagigets ni customer na cool yung item pag talaga nahahawakan nila. And so that's our shop philosophy. We really tried to put a lot of effort into it. You'll notice the custom wooden tables behind me, custom wooden shelves. So, everything talaga parang sinubukan namin sa shop namin na lahat ng mga ayaw namin sa mga ibang PC shops. Binago namin, biniliktad namin sa amin. And yun. So, gumana ba yun? May, <laughs> may nabenta ba kami? And natutuloy ba namin yung mga, mga initiatives na ganyan? Kaya, mahalaga yung second year report card. So, ito yung first year report card namin nung July 2019. To be honest, nung first year talaga wala kaming alam. Parang uh, bago to lahat sa amin. Yung mga retail spaces, bago to lahat sa amin. First time namin magka-retail store, first time namin magbenta ng computer hardware. So yung first year talaga parang kinakapapa namin lahat. Paano magbenta? Sino yung mga suppliers natin? Paano kapag may warranty claim? Lahat yun. Lahat, lahat bago lahat. But we survived our first year and we had around 600 customers and i-kukumpara natin kung kamusta ba first year versus second year. Let's say sa Facebook. Nung first year namin sa Facebook, may mga 3,500 followers kami. And ngayon, itong second year, 6,700 na. So definite improvement around maybe almost double the followers. Pero yung mas mahalaga pa doon, yung reviews namin sa Facebook, out of 5, Uh, highest possible rating 5, yung review score namin is 4.9. So, may mga natuwa naman sa service namin and they were kind enough to leave us a review. Hopefully, matuloy namin yung good customer service and, you know, in year 3 and in the many years hopefully to come. Sa YouTube, nung first year namin, subscriber count namin, mga 260 lang. Ngayon, sobrang wild to be honest. Never ko na-expect na aabot kami sa ganitong subscriber count. Around 11,000 subscribers na sa YouTube, and to be honest, that that blows my mind. That is that is crazy. Nick never never ko na isip. Pero yung talagang napapangiti ako or parang napapa nakakatabas sa puso ko. Parang daming nagiwan ng comments na maraming salamat. May natutunan na ako sa video. Um, thanks so much. Sana nakita ko to bago ko nagbuild ng PC. Kasi yung yung approach namin sa YouTube, tsaka yung approach namin sa shop, pareho lang na wag masyadong techy. I mean, yes, of course, the, the, the specs are important, the tech is important, 
But what I mean is na paminsan kasi kung masyadong alam na alam mo na yung PC, kabisadong kabisado mo, whenever somebody asks you, puro jargon na lang yung tinatapon mo sa kanila eh. Nakakalunod eh. Parang kung hindi ka familiar sa mga terms na yan, you feel like parang nalulunod ka sa mga bagay na hindi di mo maintindihan. Wala ka ng pake sa sinasabi ng kaibigan mo na nag-explain sa'yo na itong NZXT RGB, iba siya sa Corsair QL120 RGB. Kung baguhan ka, wala kang pake sa masyado sa specs. Uh, of course, the specs are important, but here at Hardware Sugar, we try na binabalance namin because we want to encourage more people to come to the hobby. Yung gusto namin, yung wala talaga interest sa computer, pero they hear about the shop or they see a YouTube video and they think na, oh, parang interesting yun na. Try ko ngayon. Um, either ako magbe-build, bibili ako ng parts sa kanila, or ako lang muna pipili. Susubukan ko na, oh, okay ba tong GPU na to, tsaka tong CPU na to. Then sila muna mag-build since medyo takot pa ako mag-build. Gusto talaga namin na mag-expand yung hobby. Hindi yung uh, nananakot yung mga super techy na, oh, ba't wala, dami mong alam, wag, wag mo na subukan yan, parang ganun. Here at Hardware Sugar, we want as much as possible everybody because we think PC hardware is super cool. <laughs> That's why we, I mean, parang, parang bata, you know, it sounds like a kid, but we really think PC hardware is cool and we, we're trying to encourage more people to get into the hobby. Kaya yung, the way we try to explain things, medyo simplified lang. Um, and sometimes we get the tech wrong, but when we do get it wrong, we do say that we got it wrong and we apologize. But because that's a mindset we have in mind na trying to get more people into the hobby. And kaya sobra ako natutuwa kapag may nag-iwan ng comment na, Uy, thanks so much, kahit medyo wala pa akong maintindihan sa computer, this video really helped me a lot. Um, because that's what we're trying to do with the shop and with the YouTube channel. Definitely may improvement from year 1 to year 2. Yeah, year 1, mga 260 subscribers, and year 2, 11,000 something. Sobrang thank you sa lahat na nanood, lahat na nag-iwan ng comment, lahat na nag-like. Um, and sana bumili rin kayo sa shop kasi <laughs> yung talagang pinakalayunin namin yung PC shop talaga. Parang, parang side gig lang tong YouTube na to. Um, so, uh, pasensya na sa mga nagtatanong kung kailan yung giveaway. Never pa kami nag-giveaway in the shop or sa YouTube kasi to be honest, walang budget dun. We put all of the budget into getting better tech for inventory so that we can make it available to you guys. Sa Lazada, uh, Lazada is an important sales channel for us. Noong first year, mga 960 followers kami sa Lazada. Ngayon, nasa 360 na. And di yung... But mas mahalaga doon, ano yung approval rating? Ano yung reviews namin sa Lazada? Currently, we're at 97% approval rating out of 100. And that's after more than 900 reviews. So, it's good to see that, uh, you know, mahirap kasi mga online customers eh. Medyo maselan sila. Tapos yung point of contact mo lang yung online na chat. Parang it's really hard to engage them and get them to feel na, oy, itong hardware sugar, parang ibang PC shop to, they'll take care of you. Um, so we really have to do the extra effort for online customers. And at least, you know, masaya naman na 97% yung thumbs up rating namin or approval rating namin sa Lazada. Finally, sa Lazada, yung seller metrics nila, may seller size. Basically, ito yung number of items na ship out mo. Noong first year namin, I think mga size 2 out of 5 pa lang ata kami or size 3 at the most. Itong year na to, uh, 4 out of 5 na yung seller size. So definitely may growth in terms of number of items sent out. And may seller level din yung Lazada. Ito naman yung gross amount of sales. Um, not based on number of items, but based on total value of gross sales. Year 1, I think we were around 4 out of 7. Seller size 4 out of 7. Ngayon nasa seller size 6 out of 7 na yung hardware sugar. So again, definitely may improvement in terms of sales volume and uh, gross sales out. Although, uh, personal goal ko sana makamit yung level 7 sa Lazada. Gusto ko lang matikman <laughs> kahit di namin masustain yun. But uh, anyway, very, you know, big improvement over year 1. For Shopee, another important online sales channel. No year 1, wala pa kami sa Shopee. No year 2, itong year na to, naka 1,000 followers na kami sa Shopee. And ano yung approval rating? We are at 4.9 out of 5 sa Shopee. So, ayun, same. Mahirap engage yung online customers, but we really try as much as possible to give a good customer experience. And for the entirety of this video, nakita mo naman lahat ng mga reviews na lumalabas dyan. 
galing sa Lazada, galing sa Shopee, galing sa Facebook, and lahat po yan totoo. <laughs> walang fake na review, walang, uy, wala, wala akong kinausap na kaibigan na, uy, pre, review mo naman kami kasi kawawa naman yung shop. So, we really take a lot of pride in the good reviews and syempre may mga bad reviews, di mo maiwasan yan, but sobrang natatandaan ko pa each bad review kung bakit nagkaroon ng bad review. And sometimes we do deserve it, sometimes we don't. Maybe, baka sa susunod gawa ko ng video ng kwento tungkol sa bad, <laughs> sa bad reviews. But, you know, sometimes medyo kapos talaga yung customer service namin, we fell short. But it's good to see that most of the time we give not only good but superior customer service. So, nakita naman yun sa report card sa reviews. So to sum up, sales volume up, customer service still good. So far, we're looking, you know, pretty decent. Isang malaking pagbabago from year 1 to year 2, aside from the sales volume, is the shop. I mean, the shop, if kung bumisita ka sa amin nung year 1, alam mo yung shop na yun, sobrang liit nung unang shop namin. Parang if you stretch out your arms, yung arm span ko, tatama na dito yung one wall, tas tatama na dito yung second wall. Ganun kaliit yung unang shop namin. And if you're curious, you can see some of it in the... We do have a YouTube video about the old shop uh, when we left it. So, I think that yung lumang shop, mga 6 square meters, sobrang sikip. Ngayon, we're at... We're in a space that's really big, 48 square meters. So, almost 10 times the size or 8 times the size of the old shop. And talagang ginamit namin yung space na yun. Yun nga, nabanggit ko earlier na gusto namin, pagpasok mo, madaling umikot sa items, pwede mo tingnan. We got custom wooden tables so we can build custom wooden shelves so that we can properly display the items. And if you come to the shop, you'll feel that uh, at least nagawa namin yung layunin namin na yon na pagpasok mo sa shop, madaling umikot at may papansin sa'yo. Uh, hindi kagaya ng ibang PC shops na sobrang sikip, lahat ng items nakatago. Tingin sa'yo magnanakaw ka, pero at the same time, hindi ka naman papansinin. So medyo, di ba? Medyo, medyo weird yun. Um, but we tried to do the opposite of all of those things and this new place, this 48 square meter place still in Makati with good parking outside allowed us to do that. So, malaking pagbabago yun from year one. Although, to be fair, medyo nalungkot ako nung umalis kami dun sa unang shop and you can see it in the, in the YouTube video we did. Last na lang talaga dito sa bagong place namin. What the larger space allows us to do is, yun nga, to have these test rigs na parang Makita talaga ni customer na, uy, masaya to ah, maganda yung tech na to. And um, we're super fortunate na may nagpahiram, may mga ibang brands na nagpahiram ng mga items for display. Such as yung Asus Monitor, which I will review in another video. NZXT was also kind enough to provide us the RGB behind me. The Asus ROG Maximus something, I think, is the motherboard behind me that we use for the test bed. So, yun, we really try to engage some of the brands that na parang, oy you know, medyo gusto namin na makita ni customer yung tech mo and, you know, can you lend some stuff to us? And masaya naman na at least yung iba medyo responsive, medyo uh, willing to take a chance naman dito sa shop namin na, you know, hindi naman ganun ka sikat pa. So, thanks so much Asus and thanks so much NZXT for lending us your stuff. Uh, please lend us more stuff. We'll gladly take them. So, so far, sir, port card. Sales volume, good. Customer service, good. New location, very good. What about inventory? And actually, dito tingin ko pwede pa may room for improvement. hiyang hiyang nga ako pag may nagtatanong, oh, may Ryzen ba kayo or Intel? Usually, since, you know, we're sort of a small shop, mabilis kami maubusan ng CPU at GPU. Tapos ang hirap gumawa ng custom rig, yung talagang pipili si customer ng parts sa gusto niya kung wala kang GPU, kung wala kang CPU. And so, we want to change that. Itong year 3 talaga na to, mag-effort kami na mag-on stock ng mga basic items talaga na kailangan. Although, aside from the basic items, we've always tried to stock medyo uncommon items like uncommon cases like the Thermaltake Core P90 or even the Core P3s or the NZXT H700 Fallout um, Special Edition case. We, we've stocked continuously the HTC Vive, yung pang VR. I think parang yung, yung Vive parang ang hirap makahanap dito sa atin. Yung TT Core P90 parang kami lang sa buong Pilipinas nag-stock 
ng at, at least as far as I know ah, na nag-stock nung case na yun. Yung Gamer Storm MF120 fans, I personally tingin ko sobrang ganda ng fans na yun. Um, wala akong nakanap na nagsa-stock nun, but I thought, you know, these are cool looking fans. Sige, stock namin sa Hardware Sugar and may bumili. Again, yung shop philosophy namin, we try to stock uncommon, major rare items para mainganyo naman si customer. Pagdating dito, uy, may ganito pala, hindi ko naisip na pwede pala tong case na to. And it's not even, it doesn't need to be expensive things. It's like we also stock the Cooler Master 90 degree adapter for the motherboard para hindi siya, you don't need to keep bending the 24 pin uh, PSU cable. And it's just really little things like that. And it's really the kind of mindset na ano yung useful sa customer, ano yung medyo unique na wala sa ibang shops. So, room for improvement, definitely kailangan mas maganda yung basic selection namin of CPU and of GPU. Pero, susubukan pa rin namin ituloy yung pag-inventory ng mga items na wala sa iba or mahirap hanapin. And actually, kung follower ka sa Facebook, you know that we have an entire Facebook album just devoted to custom orders. Wala kami in stock na inventory. Si customer may isang item na gustong gusto talaga niya. Lalapit si customer. He'll ask, oh, can you find this for me? And sometimes, we can find it. And we get it for him as a custom order, special order. Um, we're able to get it from our supplier and everybody's happy. We really try to go out of our way to find rare items. And daming cool na PC hardware na yung medyo labas sa mainstream. And that's what, that's what we try to do. That's what we try to find. Another area for improvement is way of ordering from us. Of course, pwede ka pumunta sa shop dito sa Makati. May online presence din kami. But hirap gamitin nung Lazada at nung Shopee. And dami mga sakit sa ulo. Yung shipping, yung customer experience, paano yung mga refunds, paano yung warranties. Hindi na ako natutuwa na marami kaming nabebenta sa Lazada and sa Shopee. So we do have a project that we're starting that hopefully by end of the year mas planchado na mas madali na lang bumili na sa amin directly online and I, I won't spoil it for you I'll, I'll you know I'll talk about it later in the future pero for year three we definitely want to move away from Lazada and Shopee kasi sobrang sakit talaga sa ulo nung Lazada and Shopee parang nakakainis na I'm grateful that they allowed us to reach this sales volume and they've allowed a larger audience to see us and uy May exposure yung hardware sugar na, oy, may bagong shop and okay naman yung inventory nila. Pero hindi kaya scale yung gusto naming operation na ta -ta talagang tutok na customer service. Hindi kaya through Lazada and through Shopee. So one area of improvement and that we are actively working on is na dapat sobrang dali lang mag direct order sa amin. First, we'll start with Metro Manila and then we'll expand to outside of MM, hopefully by maybe six months after that. That's definitely something we are working on. Dito sa dulo ng report card, mukhang okay naman yung performance si Hardware Sugar and natutuwa ako na maraming natuwa sa shop, marami kaming natulungan with tech and you know, we were able to make available a lot of nice hardware for people. But, to be honest, wala pa to. <laughs> wala pa to. Marami pa akong ibang ideas na gusto sana na matupad for the shop. Sobrang simple lang, open 24 hours. Wala akong alam na open na 24 hours na PC shop. Gusto ko sana si Hardware Sugar ganun. Very challenging to have the staff um, and the sales level to support it. Currently, naka-lockdown pa rin tayo, so may mga curfews. But that's just one simple thing. Di ba sobrang okay? Parang biglang namatay hard drive mo in the middle of the night or biglang nasunog yung PSU mo. Who you gonna call? 24 hour open, hardware sugar. And aside from that, parang may aquarium na naka live stream kung sa lahat ng mga builds namin, dun gagawin sa aquarium. So if you're the customer na bumibili ng item na yon, ng build na yon, you can see it being done in real time. If you're a beginner and you just want to see how it is to build a computer, yun, log on ka lang, makita mo sa aquarium. You, sana, tuloy tuloy lang yung parang 24 7 yung aquarium na yon na live stream and free delivery and things like that. Ang dami pa talagang pwedeng i-improve for Hardware Sugar. Wala pa to. Maraming improvements sa year 2. Pero hopefully, kung bumili kayo and you guys support us, hopefully sa year 3, mas marami pang improvements sa year 4, year 5. Until talagang it will be a shopping experience na pagpunta mo doon, sobrang no hassle, ang ganda ng inventory, lahat ng kailangan mo nandun, knowledgeable staff, 
And yun na, that's really the dream. <laughs> Marami pa akong pangarap para sa shop. Hopefully, matupad yung ilang objectives and we can keep building on the success of the shop. And, and I'll close just with a short excerpt. We actually have a manifesto. And again, what kind? <laughs> Do you know any other PC shop na may manifesto? Because to be honest, talagang we take this stuff seriously. It's not just puro BS na marketing na customer service, good items. We really, really want to provide the best PC shopping experience. And so we do have a manifesto. Um, dati sa unang shop namin, nakaprint to, tas nakadikit dun sa isang glass na wall. Dito sa second shop, di ko pa nagawa yun, but I will definitely hang the manifesto soon. And this is a part of the manifesto. Hardware Sugar exists because the founders got fed up with the bad service of other PC shops. Our items are awesome and they should go to awesome people. At the end of the day, we just want to make cool stuff available for our fellow gamers and PC enthusiasts. So, ayun, cool tech to cool people. That's really the basic founding thing of Hardware Sugar. Um, we're easy to talk to. Again, we don't like jargon. We don't like doing a lot of the techy techy techno babble things. We're not in an episode of Star Trek. Um, and thank you so much for everybody who's watched us, who's bought from us. Again, malayong malayo pa tayo sa talagang panaginip ko na PC shop or yung ideal PC shop. But hopefully, with your support, we can keep building and keep making it better and better. Finally, may nag-request ng shoutout. So here we go. Shoutout kay John Salamat, who has an old computer like me. Sana maka-upgrade na tayong dalawa itong 2020. Um, actually, the, the new stuff coming out really sounds cool. The 4th Gen Ryzen and the Ampere NVIDIA. So... I don't know, baka it's time na we take the plunge na lagyan natin, bilhin na tayo ng bagong rigs with RGB and all of the nice cool hardware. Shout out kay Christopher Dahey. Uh, natuwa naman ako na nakatulong kami sa bagong mong rig sa first build mo. And if you have any questions, you know how to reach us. And last shout out kay Senpai19. Okay lang na kahit hindi ka mag-English sa comments, magsulat ka ng Tagalog, magsuwat ka sa Bisaya, makasabot sad ko. And you know, just just do your thing. Thanks so much for uh, taking the time to comment. And again, um, it's supposed to be a report card, but this ended up being like this big thank you video. And to be honest, talaga sobrang salamat to all the customers, to all of the people on YouTube, to all of the Facebook followers. It's been a fun ride, but the ride is just starting. I hope you guys will continue to support us and encourage your friends to support us. Thanks for watching, but more importantly, thanks for buying from Hardware Sugar.